Hey, what's up? It's Roman Dark. So, great guitar build of 2021 is over. Such a cool event. So many talented people. But I'm a little bit disappointed. Last time only some people were chosen by Ben and others were kicked out of the boat. This time I thought we all would have some attention. Uh, some words from the experts and uh, some time on the video. Uh, since we all paid for this event. But alas, this time only 10 people were chosen for each competition. And others were kicked out like imposters. Just kidding. We all got personal pages on the website. That's something, right? I decided to make my top 10 guitar builders for each competition to share my thoughts. Let's start with the kit competition. Number 10 is Kelly James Paulson. Sorry if I butcher names. The finish is super cool. I like the pig guard. The headstock is cool also. This is real hammered metal, but the final video has terrible quality. Uh, what happened? Number 9 is Curtis Tupin. This is pretty cool build. I love LEGO guitars, but this one is actually glued LEGO. No epoxy that people tend to use with LEGO. It just has central wood block for support. Number 8 is John Norsick. He is a graphic designer, so no surprise that his guitar is so beautiful. Gold and violet go so well together. I watched all his video trying to understand how he made the metal frame, but then realized it's not possible to do it by hand. It must be CNC, and it appears to be a laser cutter. I wish I could access such cool tools. Number 7 is Dan Goshensky. I love steampunk. I did steampunk guitar last year. This build is pretty interesting. Hollow body, acrylic top. And he is newbie. This is his first build. Pretty impressive. He bought several power tools just for this build. I wish I could buy spindle sander and bench saw. Number 6 is Daniel Wallis. This build is so unique and dazzling. This is shattered mirror and some sort of crystals. It's looking so good, but I probably would be afraid to hold it. Number 5 is Tobias Hur. I like epoxy guitars. I'm gonna make more epoxy builds in the future. This one looks cool, well polished. I like the vintage look. Number 4 is Terrell Bakes, Lego and Epoxy. Perfect! And I was a huge fan of the Star Wars before the sneaky mouse took it. This guitar looks really cool with that cute baby Yoda. One question though, who's that dog eating? Number 3 is my favorite YouTuber Stuart Murray AK Mumbling Production. This guitar is so cool that I want to make the same. Barbed wire and epoxy. Looks great. The only thing I would change is the finish. I would make the wood looks older like it's old military fans. His videos is so entertaining. I hope he will shoot more videos. But they make me wondering why Ben works in his studio as Bob Raven? And who is the real Brad and Govi? This one or this? Number 2 is Israel Perel Nieto. I love this one. Sci-fi, 
Back to the Future vibe, it has cool light effects with LEDs, and it was interesting to watch the build. By the way, he has more similar sci-fi guitar builds on his channel, I would recommend to check them out. And number one is screwed guitars. This so cool on so many levels. The carving, the painting, this one is really look like a dragon. Interesting though, which part of a dragon it is? And where you plug the jack? Hmm. And now my top 10 scratch builders. I'm surprised there are more people than in kit competition. More people decided to do it from scratch. And I gotta say, I'm very impressed by all of you. Here is my top 10 scratch builders. Number 10 is Maverick Edwards. This is steampunk build, so I approve. The guitar looks fantastic. Copper and brass combination. I like the finish, but his story is really heartbreaking. Number 9 is Lorenzo Yuva. As a bassist, I am very interested in 7 string bass. I like this one. Multi scale, headless. I watched the video but didn't get what is the piece between pickups. Sometimes people place a piezo pickup there, but this seems to be a decoration. Number 9 is Kevin Hughes. Very unique look the body. Of course I love the LED illumination. Cool fretboard. Weird in a good way looking headstock. I like combination of black and gold. I would definitely play it. And number 7 is Alex Morningstar. This is super cool guitar. I can't believe someone really made a guitar out of glass. This is something I will not do. Too scary for me. I like the idea with shattered glass. Just don't drop it, Paul. I bet this thing is heavy. Number 6 is Trevor Cobble. This is something unusual. Combination of fretless bass and fretted guitar. First I thought it's a walking stick guitar, but it appears to be an anime sword. NANI? Number 5 is 80 Dobbies. This is another dragon looking guitar, but different approach. Pretty cool, I like the colors and cool horns. Pretty beastie build. Number 4 is Victor Hofer. I like this very much. First of all, the epoxy and LEDs. I would play it in the nightclub. Crazy colors finish, but they all match organically. I like the epoxy strip at the bottom side. I probably will make something similar in the future. Number 3 is Native Akron. This one of the coolest guitar I ever seen. The metal top looks amazing. I would love to have a guitar like this in my collection. The bridge looks super cool and unique, but the functionality is questionable. This is single string tremolo machine that goes higher by pressing the string. If you use a regular whammy bar, you go lower. When you need to go higher, you can just use bend technique. And I guess it would be hard to do a full step up on this bridge. The use case I can see is vibrato. Sometimes when you play a chord, you want to emphasize just one note. So in this case, this bridge would be handy. Number 2 is Aran Adair. I love that infinity mirror effect and he built it very well. Looks cool. I haven't watched Doctor Who, but I like this design in general. Very creative.
And finally, number one of the scratch build is Jason Makes. This is piece of art. Looks super cool and creepy and cool, but creepy. This is something I am not able to do. The level of details, impressive. Look at the snakes. And this is it. Leave a comment and tell me who is your favorite builder. And see you next time.